Asian people are people of color now? Michelle Yeoh is the second woman of color to ever win Best Actress at the Oscars following Hal Berry in 2002. Uh, they have always been considered as such. Mm, news to me, because where is the color? It's a shame because this person could be just genuinely curious about the definitions of things kind of changing all the time, but also it sounds like they're offended that they're considered a person of color. You're the idiot of Facebook, but it clearly says spaghetti. I'm gonna just do the Facebook equivalent of r slash a subreddit link. Yeah, by the way, it's this your, but you're right. No, it's not your with an E. Oh, education system, why have you failed us? Leaves are for trees, not books. You take leaves from books, uh, not pages? Well, Drew, it's a pretty common idiom used across the English-speaking world. I'm sure you could use page and still impart the same meaning. That's the beauty and horror of the English language for the literal thinkers. Uh, you take a page out of someone's book, not a leaf. Taking a leaf out of someone's book is not the phrase. Well, Drew, Google is your friend. Yeah, okay, so I did actually Google this because I wanted to be sure I was on the right side because I've made the mistake in the past and I'll never admit it. But, um, yeah, both phrases are accepted. This is more so a case of what came first, the chicken or the egg, the leaf or the page. Red doing what everyone does when something is shared on Facebook. In r slash anarcho-communism. I'd been to quite a few climate protests. Proceeds to catch a short distance flight. Yeah, nice. Well, he says in the article, I carpooled my way from Graz to Vienna. Like, did you read the article? Uh, mm, yeah, he carpooled from Graz to Vienna to get a plane. It says, I carpooled my way from Graz, Austria, where I live, to Vienna, and met some interesting characters along the way. One was a German expatriate who wanted to catch a flight to Cologne, where the carnival was fully underway. He went to go to Vienna for a protest, not a flight. He carpooled there and met another person who was getting a flight to Cologne. Why don't you read? You know, you know it's a good thing to do. It benefits you. It is spelt paid outside of America, as in Australia, Britain, and other English-speaking non-American countries. I'm sorry, where's this place where Britain has two Ts? Is this an alternate reality? How dare you disgusting, you disgust me. It is spelt paid outside of America, as in Australia, Britain, again, again, why, why? And other English-speaking non-American countries. No, it isn't. Yes, it is! Confidently incorrect will like this one. Another delicious offering to the subreddit gods. I just need someone to explain to me why airplanes don't board back to front. No, oh, when you stand up, you press down harder, so you weigh more standing up. Well, you don't weigh more standing up, but your weight is spread over a smaller surface area, which applies more pressure. No, uh, it's true. People weigh more standing up. That's why if you truly want to lose weight, sit down. Crawl around everywhere on your butt. That's that's how you lose weight. Make everyone at the gym jealous of your progress by walking around as if you're a dog with an infection on your butt. Or maybe it's, you know, pepper. From mildly infuriating, $4.95 fries at Buffalo Wild Wings. How much extra do they charge you to cook them? Well, if you have to ask, you can't afford it. Yeah, how much extra for them to clean their vats? The black specks on the fries are deposits from burnt up stuff in the vats, indicating that they need to replace or filter their oil. My god, that is an over-analysis. Today I learned that The Witcher 3 isn't an RPG because you can't make your own character. While this game is fun, it can't be compared to Witcher 3. There are multiple subplots in The Witcher 3 that could have been fantastic games on their own. This game blows Witcher 3 out of the water. Witcher 3 doesn't even qualify as an opera. Can't make your own character. To be clear, this is about Hogwarts Legacy. You are entitled to your completely wrong opinion. I mean, it is entirely factual that Witcher 3 isn't an RPG. It is an open world action adventure game, not an RPG. The whole point of an RPG is creating a character and placing yourself in the game. When your passion for chains is greater than your knowledge. It's a fake Halloween decoration. Oh. God, wow, some people are passionate about things, aren't they? This is what the largest dog breed in the world, Asian Shepherd Dog, looks like. It is used to protect livestock because it can easily defeat wolves. The chain around his neck used to anchor the USS Enterprise from the looks of it. Yeah, it's just a Halloween decoration. Though. How dare you question the validity of this chain? <clears throat> that is undoubtedly a metal chain around the dog's neck. It is also undoubtedly being used as armor to protect that dog's throat from the wolves. His bread is absolutely destroyed to protect its flock. The extra links in the front of the animal are undoubtedly for extra protection as the dog swings about while engaging multiple targets. I also doubt the woman feeding the animals a half a bowl decided to drive at a gag store and hunt down a giant fake chain to make the absolute unit appear more unit-like. Downvote me all you want! You're wrong if you genuinely think that a working animal is wearing a plastic chain that one hasn't been destroyed to shreds by the tank of its cocaine. <laughs> It's a fake plastic chain. Two pieces Halloween chains, plastic chains, prop toy. Here's a link. You go, go outside. 
Well, I'm from Ulster, and I had no idea we moved from the island recently. Ulster is not an island, Poppet. Has any Remainer seen a map ever? All right, we get it. You hate people from Ulster. This made me sad. Never give an infant honey, as it'll create botulinum floppy baby syndrome. I saw this exact thing in my trauma career. The second the mom said she made homemade medicine based on honey, I turned to my doc and said, botulism. We sadly could not save the baby as the mom had waited way too long to get him to us. Me and my doc went outside after working on the baby for two hours and just cried together. A genuine plea for caution, let's see some mothers take this personally. What? Well, lol, make up more stories. No baby has died from honey. No, it's not possible, lol. I don't need to Google everything like you. I pay attention in life. Pov, you are today years old when you learn that determiners such as most and least work with plural nouns. Good to have knowledge that others want. Used to be prized highly before internet and AI. Still a worthy goal in my opinion. More than a worthy goal, knowledgeable people tend to surround themselves with other knowledgeable people. Learning is the most healthy and worthwhile of bases for adult relationships. Well, then let me teach you something. It's spelled basis. Redditor proves doctors wrong. If you want to get some sleep, so what? It's your doc and urine is sterile, so you can't get sick from it. Why? What is the context? Apparently only men can be colorblind? Misogyny gatekeeps once again. How did you become colorblind since women are not colorblind by birth? Actually, that's a myth. Women can be born colorblind. It's just more rare for them to be red-green colorblind. Not a myth, because I have been to doctors and have colorblind children. Okay, that's great. What, do your children not have cancer either? I guess that means cancer doesn't exist. On a post about the Columbus Blue Jackets hockey team. Blue Jacket is literally a racist term from the Civil War to represent the Confederacy, but your wokeism is so freaking stupid you don't even know that. However, the name officially refers to Union Soldiers of the Civil War. A 1997 dispatch story about the name's unveiling noted that Ohio sent more soldiers per capita to the Union Army than any other state did. And no, sir, you're wrong. The Confederate wore blue. The Union wore red. You're wrong. I love that their profile pic has been censored with Dumbo. Redditor learns how color works. Oh, Reddit. If we're not careful, someone will make a Today I Learned post about their ocean not actually being blue. Huh? Are you under the impression that the ocean is some other color? The ocean isn't actually blue. It absorbs all the other wavelengths of light. Blue is what's reflected back until you hit a certain depth. Correct. I mean, if you live close enough to a major city, most of the water's just green anyway. What do my fellow South Americans have to say about this? South America is not a continent, is a region. America is the continent. I hope you're joking. Bro, tell me you are being sarcastic. Bro, Googling is free. Not trying to be hateful. I truly hope people are happy doing anything they want to do, but I won't stand for incorrectness with personal feelings over facts. Hmm, what's this doubling down as a result of? First, I want to say I'm happy for anyone that does anything to make themselves happy. That's not what I'm doing here, but... Proceeds to judge and shame people who do something that makes them happy. Men don't have reproductive organs. Wait. <laughs> You can change the papinia to a vagina, but they are still men in the inside, no matter what you want to think. Period. God, even dismissing the stupidity that this needs to be a political issue, neither side is going to agree with you from the very first sentence you've made there. I always argue that Gary Oldman is the best actor of his generation because more than half the movies I've seen him in, I don't know, it's Gary Oldman till the credits roll. He is a chameleon on a completely different level. You mean roll. No, it's definitely roll. Roll is a verb. Yes, it sure is a verb. You're right. The credits are rolling, not rolling. Ladies and gentlemen, peak confident incorrectness. Flat earthers are so wrong on so many levels. Water doesn't curve around a ball. It's always level. There's no proof of rotation and not one single satellite sent out to space has ever shown us the globe spinning. A time-lapse video? Moon landing has been debunked, etc. I mean, I could barely get good cell service walking down the block, but the president was talking to guys on the moon through a telephone as they played golf up there. By the way, NASA and the whole gang has admitted they lost all the technology to get back to the moon or leave low Earth orbit. <laughs> It's not a single argument, more like a million obvious signs throughout my life where I just know nope. for a fact we don't live on a spinning ball. Also, no construction disregards a level surface and accounts for curvature. Never happens. I'm an engineer. Oh, it's, it's great to know you managed to get through engineering and still think this. What a future we look forward to. What do you think about this? NASA was born in 1958. 1972 is the year they show us around Earth. 
How did Hollywood know what the Earth looked like before NASA? 1927 Globe image before NASA's in 1972. You know, if we eventually ever make it to another planet and civilize it, make a society there, I do not doubt that after a few generations there are gonna be people who say, Earth never existed, it's just a lie by the government to control us. Homie, here's a globe from the 16th century. Everyone has literally known the world was round for centuries. Round? Yes, I agree. A globe? No, impossible! If gravity exists, tell me how birds can fly one meter up the sea. Gravity do not attract birds? No, they always swipe left on the Montinda. Read aeronautics. Bird wings counteract gravity because of their structure. Ah, okay, so gravity can keep billions and billions of water around a globe, but birds are not under the law of gravity. And you really think your explanation is Skyantist? One? Okay, what about a super tanker? If a bird in flight stops flapping and folds his wings, you'll see gravity take over. No, you are wrong. You will see the density of the bird falling, not the gravity in action. Oh, oh. And what influences density, huh? Why is density an issue regarding things falling? Conservation of mass, bruh. Their reply wasn't even grammatically correct. You definitely need to have passed English and maths not just for university, but for any future job. Is this comment satire? I can't tell. If not, you spell past as past in the context of your sentence. Oof, out of all the comments you could have replied to that just expose you as the person they are talking about. A little science lesson for the idiots at the Global Warming Conference. Iceberg, ocean. Iceberg melts, ocean level remains the same. True, very valid, clearly proven by science. Oh, what's this? Except some ice sits on dry land. Oopsie. I think some of us do forget that the Antarctic and Antarctica are actually islands. They're not just giant blocks of ice. Guy tries to scold someone over verbiage, doesn't understand words. Sorry, just had to Google to double check the pronunciation of this word. It's verbiagi. One time I literally had a metalhead tell me, I don't really listen to music. I mostly just listen to metal. Disclaimer, I know that metal is music. Oh, versus figuratively or hypothetically telling you? It's fun to pretend not to know that people use the word literally emphatically. That's not what empathetic means. <laughs> Completely missed the mark. Don't even get her started on seatbelts. What a car crash looks like at various speeds. Well, if they'd stop making cars out of fiberglass and plastic, there'd be more protection. Cars used to be made of metal, and people weren't dying in car accidents like they are today. Cars are being made out of these cheap materials and sold at ridiculous prices when they're nothing but a death trap. There needs to be laws against this. Paying an arm and a leg for a car that crumbles when hit should be against the law. In case you are curious about this, the reason they crumble and fold is because they're designed to absorb the impact. If we still use metal cars like we did back in the day, the only thing to to absorb the impact of the hit would be your body. Essentially, it's like complaining about seatbelts because they hurt your shoulder when you get hit. Live artillery shells. Ironic there was no such thing as live artillery shell in the 1860s. They used projectiles. Not much of an archaeologist. Do your homework. Do your homework? That's pure nonsense. Exploding shells were around as early as the 14th century. Major Shrapnel invented the design that popularized his name in the early 1800s, and several live shell designs were in use during the Civil War, including Armstrong and Hush rifle shells. Live shells are being found all the time. Some estimates think over 1.5 million live shells were fired by artillery pieces in the Civil War, and as many as 20% of them failed, leaving a lot of unexploded ordnance out there to be found. I'll be honest, I had to Google Major Shrapnel to be sure that wasn't just a troll life. <laughs> I genuinely didn't know it came from an actual name of someone. Your uterus is a cave outside of your body. You have a weird way of thinking about something that is natural. Who poisoned your mind into such a harsh way of thinking about your own children? That your body can have living in your uterus that is technically outside rather than inside a woman. It's like a cave. I'm sorry, but how is the uterus outside of the woman? Take a look at the diagram of a female body. The vagina is a passage into the uterus, a hole leading to a hole. The hole itself is vacant until something irrivers in it. The placentae is formed as a wall due to the pregnancy and the baby attaches to the placentae. Yeah, I said words good. If you're gonna be a pedantic butt, be a correct pedantic booty. Otherwise, you're just a booty. Looks like a lot of people still don't consider Bush bad. That would be the people who do not read or use commas in the word don't, like yo. Sir, that's an apostrophe. If you want to call someone out for grammar, make sure you have it right as well. 
<laughs> Pee up a rope. How is that an insult? If someone could do that, that's honestly impressive. They've got some really good muscles down there. No such thing as unskilled labor. That is unskilled labor. Wrong! Jail broke. Pay attention in class, please. Jail breaks, but go off, I guess. Oh, dude was so confident as well, Lamau. Yeah, he was right the first time. Break is not a word. Not just the ridiculous claim about the number of partners that women have each year, but also the bizarre math on the men's numbers. This is literally true. Depending on the source, women have 100 to 250 partners per year. Sure, this was on the high side of the estimates, but definitely not out of the question. Meanwhile, men have only 20 to 30 partners per year on average, with 90% having less than two, and 10% getting all the female attention. It's such as a plain and simple. Are you serious? You think women have it on every one to two days? On average, yeah. Obviously, some will be lower. I've said it a thousand times, but the very insilly men who complain about women who seem to be able to get whatever they want would absolutely do the same thing if they were considered as attractive to that standard. They don't want a fairer or equal chance to be with these women. They just want their privilege. Mount Everest has relocated to South Dakota. There's no snow leopards on Mount Everest or anywhere in the wild in America. Mount Everest isn't even in America. I'm Canadian and I know that. Ah, it's in South Dakota! This guy thinks he knows more than the dubbing actor of Goku in Spanish. The Japanese version is not dubbing. It's so sad that a dubbing actor doesn't know what his guild does. Mario, friend, giving voice to animated characters is also dubbing. What a pity you give. Dubbing is the substitution of dialogues in a soundtrack for dialogues in a different language than the original. In the production of animated cartoons, the original audio is known as audio guide and it is recorded before the beginning of the animation. It is not dubbing. Called me Cheeto fingers and everything. Too skinny. And imagine skinny shaming someone. Yeah, you forgot an extra oh learn to spell before criticizing someone yeah exactly i didn't spell anything wrong cheeto fingers and i don't have to imagine i already did everyone says i look 16 plus but i'm 14 they're lying to you babe it's there if you're going to try and insult a child love get it right oh the irony that you're both wrong Nice try, but slavery is illegal. Has been since 1865, actually. Uh-huh, United States laws certainly apply all over the world, don't they? I'd like you to show me the exact line in the 13th Amendment that says this only applies to the US. You know, in this day and age with the state of America, I sometimes believe that surely they don't still think they're like the center of the world anymore, right? Like they're just another country trying to do their best to survive. Nope. Then you see this, and you realize that sort of ego has not gone away. A cooked steak is full of blood or pus, because I say so. That's how people get sick, not having their steak well done. Eating blood, it's not healthy. Blood carries carbon dioxide and other waste materials to the lungs, kidneys, and digestive system to be removed from the body. That steak isn't done. There's no blood in the meat after it's processed. That is actually called myoglobin. It's when the tissues from the muscles start to break down. So that's not blood. It's blood or pus. The steak isn't cooked. It isn't blood. Lol, do some research there, bud. Call it what you want. I say it's blood. The question was 10 take away 10 times 10 plus 10. 10, bro. Whoever got it incorrect should be put in elementary again. Ooh, confidently incorrect. You're literally the one that got you wrong. The correct answer is to ignore it, because if you don't believe in maths, it can't hurt you. How to math's good. Oh no, it's back! Lol algebra? We can see without math magic that 0 0.9999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999
Wrong. If this were true, the wealthiest humans would be expected to have the most children. But reality is the opposite. We don't feed wild animals because when we do, they tend to overproduce. Humans are no better. That is absolutely not why we don't feed wild, nor even stray animals. I studied evolution for one whole day, so I'm an expert now. After doing lots of research today, I never realized just how shaky and inconclusive all the evidence for human evolution is. So many blanks we filled in, predicted, and guessed with our own imaginations. So many missing links, so many chronological inconsistencies. What you think is their motivation to dive into the research themselves, become someone who studies that field, become an actual expert. No, 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 they'll just fall back to their Bible and say that's the actual evidence all along. On a post of an animation of a planet crashing into Earth, claiming its shadow should be blue because the planet is outside of Earth's atmosphere. As someone who puts meticulous work into making settings look realistic, fantasy or otherwise, it always bugs me that the shadow of these planets is black instead of blue. During the day, Earth's atmosphere makes black look like blue. It's not like space suddenly turns blue during the day. That's Earth's atmosphere. It's why the moon during the day always looks like a hunk of white instead of being white and black. So unless this planet is already within our atmosphere, it shouldn't have a black shadow like that. It should be blue. Also, what do you mean, what would you do? Die, that's what. That makes no sense. Following your logic, a sun eclipse should be blue, because a sun eclipse is literally the moon casting a shadow on Earth, and as far as I know, the moon isn't in our atmosphere. Also, Earth's atmosphere is blue because of light scattering. Shadows are caused by the absence of light. No light equals no blue. That's also why the sky isn't blue at night. Imagine he added a perfect loop to these videos. You mean machine. No, it's imagine. Don't correct me. It's machine. Sure thing, buddy. Thanks, doopy 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 doo. On a post requesting the calorie count of fried chicken that was sitting on a scale showing 60 grams. Um, doesn't it say it's 60 calories on the calorie weigher? That's a scale. It measures food in grams. You can't tell how many calories are in a food by its weight. I I'm honestly surprised you were able to create a Reddit account but don't understand basic logic. Um, I literally have one at home and it tells me the calories of foods. Calories are based on weight because if you have more food, obviously it will have more calories. Cringe. Oh no. Oh no. A burger can weigh like 200 grams but be like 700 calories. What is wrong with this person? Oh god. God. Yeah, calorie weigher is taking me out. I mean, I, as someone who does like to track the calories, I'm not crazy about it though, but wow. To have this sort of completely wrong concept on it all. I wish this was the science because then I'd get to enjoy pina coladas without any sort of disgust at myself. Apparently, Doofus thinks the EU and Europe are one and the same. You're not in Europe, you drive on the right side of the road. Little does she know, Lamau. There's two problems with that. One, that's only in the UK, and two, the UK has left the EU. So the UK is not in Europe? Hmm? Well, the UK is still part of Europe. I'm not, but Americans seem very proud to still use miles like us and other systems. Britisher isn't a word, by the way. Are you a moron? <laughs> Cambridge Dictionary, oh, look at this word. Wow, look at this word that is literally part of your dictionary. The three parts of the US government. Lamau, you are an absolute idiot. The three branches are the House, Senate, and Presidency. Maybe learn a little about our government before you spout off some bull smack. Holy smack, and you're so confident too! You can't really be that stupid, can you? Here's a linky. I am laughing so hard right now, holy snappadoodles. Top reviews from other countries. One star, missing letter! Absolutely gutted. I've just sat and blown up all the letters to find that the D is missing, but been replaced with an extra A. It's my daughter's birthday tomorrow, and now I won't be able to decorate it as planned. Not happy at all. Okay, let's just pan up to this image to see the reference here, and hmm, I think we can see the problem. Well, nonetheless, a petit pate to your daughter. Feed the country with just a few Google searches. If all farmers suddenly disappeared tomorrow, we'd go hungry for a little bit before we figured it out and we're just fine. And that's because it's a job that literally anyone could do. We have the farmers we do because they're the ones who inherited a ton of land from their great grandfather. Not because they have some highly specialized set of skills the rest of us couldn't possibly figure out with just a few Google searches. You honestly believe a day trader or barista could just step into a field and know what to do? Absolutely, yes. Maybe not immediately without direction, but every job takes training. It's just manual labor. Go here, lift this, go there, carry that. It's not that hard. It doesn't take the best and brightest. 
How do farmers know what to do now? A couple of days on the job training? It's not like they go to a farmer college and spend years studying their craft. Well, yeah, that's because the people who do know the craft are the people they're working with anyway. That, <laughs> yeah, I used to think the same, but then I went on wine tours. My friends, it is a science of chemistry. The agriculture skills, the understanding of weather and climate, it just, wow. And places that make genuine cider, like not just some syrupy stuff. Yeah, oh, that's like Breaking Bad in there, son. They, they are cooking. Wrestling journalist tried to be a grammar police. You're a wrestling journalist and can't understand this, Lama Fow. Now, if you're gonna throw wrestling journalist in quotation marks as an insult, maybe learn your and your first? But he got it right. <laughs> Besides the inaccuracies, who wants to explain to the author that butterflies aren't animals? Shall I do it? Well, if everyone says so, I'll do it. Butterflies are animals. They are insects and belong to the animal kingdom. The other five kingdoms are plants, fungi, protists, bacteria, and your face. Genuine informative comment, not at all attacking this person. Let's see how they rebuttal. I don't need to Google Schmidt. By your logic, a zodiac animal could be a houseplant. It's not important enough to have an actual argument over, but the logic you're attempting to apply here is flawed. No biggie. Yes, I'm glad to see it's no biggie. Sunshine wants to stay in the dark. So I learned a useless fact today while doing some continuing education. You can get vitamin A poisoning from eating a polar bear liver. Apparently the entire liver has enough vitamin A to kill 52 humans. There's no way that's true. Vitamins don't kill people. In very high doses, it definitely can, but it's not common. Vitamins are sold for health in stores. I highly doubt they would sell them if they were dangerous. Well, they don't sell polar bear livers, which is what I am talking about. Don't be ridiculous. Ain't nobody eating some cold ass livers, so your point is mute and I stand by my comments. This sunshine must get absolutely blown away when comparing the heaviness of a kilogram of steel versus a kilogram of feathers. Beavers to be reintroduced in West London. There aren't any canals in West London. Where are they going to live? In a bin next to Victoria?